Hi everyone, it's Joy back for another meditation session. You are warmly welcome here. This is me hugging you, welcoming you into the space. And I invite you to turn off distractions, turn off other devices or alerts, um, go outside, um, close a door if you need to, give yourself permission and space to take care of yourself right now for just a few minutes during this short video. You do not need to show up any particular way, all right? So often we go into some kind of setting with friends or coworkers or with family and we think we're supposed to be a certain way. What I invite you for all of these meditation sessions is for you to be just how you are. You're not responsible for anything. You can kick back. You can be as you are and just start to settle and calm and give yourself space for some self-care, for some real nourishment. Last week we uh, worked with fear and anxiety. We really went right into that place and that's important because meditation is not a way for us to ignore what is difficult. It's a way for us to be with what's difficult differently more um, skillfully. Yet also, we don't want to get bogged down in the suffering or the difficulty or get overwhelmed by it. Right? So this week we're going to be talking about looking for the good, taking in the good, buoying our heart so it can be more resilient and open during difficult times. Our brain has a negativity bias. All the scientists agree on this. Negative experiences go straight into our mind, into memory without us trying. Right? So when you're lying down in bed at night and you're thinking of the things that weren't done or maybe you made a little mistake on, that is completely normal. There's nothing wrong with you. That's because of the negativity bias. There's really good news here though we can tilt that back and take in more positive experiences. First, we need to notice them. So we need to take the pause when something good happens in our day. For a breath, maybe two breaths, notice, pause, breathe with it. This is called taking in the good, looking for the good, taking it in. Um, we're going to do a meditation around this, but this is an ordinary practice you can do throughout the day. Second thing I want to say about taking in the good that I hear from myself and from others is when so much suffering is happening in the world and maybe with loved ones that it feels somehow inappropriate for us to take in the good or be happy or feel ease. And that's just not true. So if we get lost in the suffering of the world, we are simply adding more suffering. Right? The way that we can be in this world more wholeheartedly is to buoy ourselves, nourish ourselves, so that we can interact with more compassion and love. And to do that, we need to remember that there's good in the world and there's good inside us. There's good around us. And we need to really embrace that. So that's what our meditation is going to be today. Uh, you can sit, lie down, stand, let yourself be however you want to be for this meditation. Remember the back body's not too tight, not too loose, um, but not getting too fussy about posture. Hands can rest wherever is comfortable. Your eyes can be closed to remove those visual distractions. Or you can just cast your gaze downward softly. You might even notice right now there's some rumbling of thunder as I'm recording this. Just start to tune into sound. I'll ring the bell three times just so you can start paying attention just to sound, trying to focus your attention.
Maybe noticing whatever sounds might be around you right now. Or the other sounds, nature, the thunder, the birds that you hear coming through this video. Feel your feet on the ground. Let your belly be relaxed. See if your chest can widen and open just a little. So soft belly, open chest. The breath is flowing comfortably, easily. Not needing to fix it or change it. See if your jaw can relax. Softening your face, your eyes, your jaw. Letting that awareness spill through your neck, down through your shoulders, bringing ease inside the shoulders. Arms at your sides, easy. Relax your hands. Notice your breath. And just appreciating that sensation of breath. Appreciating this moment just as it is, not needing to shift it or make it different. And I want you to actually engage your mind. I want you to reflect on the last few days. So let yourself remember your last few days or your last week. And in particular, I want you to notice all the good things that happened in the last week, or even just today or yesterday. Let yourself remember moments of connection you had with yourself or others or nature. Remembering moments where you laughed or smiled or just felt some lightness or ease. Remember the times where maybe you were working on some project and you felt satisfaction with your effort, with something you had done, allowing for that sense of satisfaction. Remembering times when you did something kind for another person or someone did something kind for you. Remembering just enjoying a good meal or a nice sunset. Let yourself notice all the ordinary good things that have happened in the last few days. You don't need to look for anything big and grand, just ordinary moments of connection, kindness, beauty, Moments where you paused and noticed. Moments of love. Laughter. And maybe just a little bit of ease. And then I want you to bring these out of just your mind and let them fill your whole body. So all these memories of the good experiences in the last few days. Notice how that feels in your heart. Let your breath at the belly and the chest, let the breath fill you with a sense of this goodness and ease and lightness and love. So let all these good experiences be with you, be inside you, really breathe with them. 
And notice how that feels. Notice how it feels in your body to take in the good. Open your heart to things you're grateful for. Open your heart to the positive experiences that have happened in the last few days. Open your heart to appreciating just the next breath and the aliveness that comes with the in-breath and the out-breath. An appreciation of these bodies that do so much for us all day long. An appreciation of rolling thunder in the background you're listening to this. Appreciation of nature, rain and sun and plants. Appreciation for this earth and all it does for us. To let your whole being fill with a little more lightness and ease, taking in the good and just letting yourself rest there for the next Three breaths, three breath pause, taking in the good, opening your heart, letting yourself feel some ease, some lightness. Three breaths, allowing yourself to smile, just a gentle smile. Bring us out with three sounds of the bell, really gently, gently coming back outward. Notice as you transition, you can leave your eyes closed if you want, just how you feel. Notice how your mind, heart, and body feel. Breathing deeply, recognizing it's important to take in the good. This is a way to buoy ourselves so that we can live in this complicated world with open hearts. It's part of our self-care to notice the good in our lives, pause, and then take one, two, or three breaths and just appreciate, savor, stay. I know for myself, as I've been recording this, there's been this lovely rolling thunder moving around. That's something that I really appreciate. This taking in the good, looking for the good, if we start practicing it, do this for the next week. Notice it, pause, take it in. Um, it pairs well with a gratitude practice, just writing down three things for which you're grateful in the morning, in the evening, at a meal, um, texting a gratitude buddy uh, each day. There's a lot of ways to build this up looking for the good and remembering it's not in denial of what's difficult. It's a way for us to not get overwhelmed, to buoy our hearts, to nourish us, so that we can live in this absolutely beautiful and yet heartbreaking world. This life that is precious and fleeting and wondrous, taking in the good. Give it a try this week. Give it a try this week. Thank you for your attention. This is me hugging you, giving you a big hug. Um, visit my website, bornjoy.com. If you'd like to listen to more meditations, they're all free. I am here for you. Thank you for your attention. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.